Our next speaker is heading the biggest digital media company in Bulgaria. The company has played a major role in shaping the digital advertising landscape in the country. Please welcome to the stage the CEO of NetInfo, Mr. Christo Christov. <laughs> Hey guys. It's great to be on stage here in front of you today, so thank you Webit for organizing this great event. Before we start, let's play a game. How many of you have done a mobile marketing campaign? Please raise your hands. Okay, that's a lot. How many of you have developed products for mobile? Okay, so basically everyone has done either a mobile product or a mobile product uh, or a mobile marketing campaign, which is why uh, mobile is not part of the future. Mobile now is the standard. Uh, the future is AI. So. To all of you who are doing mobile, I'm not saying go back to desktop. What I'm saying is that mobile is the standard now. We have to think mobile only. And if we want our companies to grow and to acquire new customers, we have to think AI first. So how do we know that? Well, we learned the hard way. Uh, we at NetInfo, we have 80% uh, reach in Bulgaria, which is similar to what Facebook have in the US. We consider ourselves a team of uh, amazing UX gurus, designers, developers, engineers. Uh, we think that we are innovative, fast thinking, but at some point we understood that having a great mobile app, having a great landing page, doing an incredible marketing campaign is not enough. We found out that we were the ones being hunted. Beforehand, we used to find a niche and go after it and hire the best talent to sort of build the best product and the best marketing campaigns, now we were the ones being hunted. And we weren't being hunted by other teams like us. No, we were being hunted by this guy. You know, the Terminator. <laughs> no, actually, not this guy. We were being hunted by the guys that built this engine. And you will say, but this is, a, this, is a, this is a video game. Okay, I'm going to walk you through. So basically, uh, this is DeepMind Technologies, which was acquired by Google, which is a company that uses and develops artificial intelligence. What they did here with this game is they created an engine that plays the game thousands of times better than any human. And in the video, you would see that in the beginning, uh, the engine is losing every game, basically but it sort of gets better and better and better until one point where it throws the ball to the, to the left and uh, the ball uh, starts destroying coins from the top, which is basically the optimal scenario that you can get to beat this engine. So you, you might say, but, uh, but this is a game and we have, uh, we have a long way to go before artificial intelligence reaches every business. Yeah, it's true, but the way we see artificial intelligence is this, this red line over here. So we see it as a linear development. But this is not the reality. The reality is that at some point, it is going to start growing exponentially. And you might say, well, but artificial intelligence is something for 2045. I might not be even be alive. But the thing is that it is being used already. The products and services that we use are already uh, using artificial intelligence. And let me give you just a few examples. We all saw that uh, this guy over here is launching uh, artificial intelligence uh, lace to put in your brain. Uh, the, C the, the CEO of eBay says that if you do not have an artificial intelligence strategy, you are going to go out of business in the next 10 years. He's saying that uh, we are all so annoyed when we buy something for our uh, wife, for example, or for our baby, and we get retargeted all over the internet for the same diapers or whatever. So he's saying that the consumer journey is not great right now, and the only way to fix it is to artificial intelligence. 
We saw the Google guys saying that the level of uh, AI investments is at its uh, all-time uh, high. So you see that uh, RankBrain is now determining the search results. This is not something which Google have deployed in a beta. This is not something which they will deploy in like two or three years. This is happening right now. Artificial intelligence is determining what your, uh, uh, when, where your result will rank. And another, another field of uh, AI, which is really, really interesting, is, uh, is this guy over here. So when you see this, this character, what do you think of? Sorry? Troll, yeah. It's a troll, but what do you think of? We think of fake news, obviously, and of trolls who are like trolling the internet space. So we believe that through AI, and actually it's not belief, it's already been done, there is a tool which can rank the level of toxicness of the comments. So in our team, we tried it, and uh, this is from one of my previous presentations. It's actual feedback from the audience. As you can see, uh, Christy is a very interesting speaker, only 2% toxic. Does this keynote present any interest to you? 6% toxic. But he presents the topic in a very dull way, 23% uh, toxic, and Christo is an idiot, 97% toxic. So you can try this yourselves. It's perspectiveapi.com. So it is an open source platform that you can plug into your uh, content sites, landing pages, forums, whatever, classifieds, and it can rank uh, actual online conversation and determine how toxic they are. And after that, you can basically cut them off or, or do something else. It can help improve uh, facial recognition, which uh, is already happening. And I think this is the way to go forward. Now, again, when we think of AI, it reminds me of 2011 and the uh, smartphone applications. If you remember, the, uh, the App Store was launched 2008. And if you look at the chart, uh, if you look at the chart, in 2011, there were not more than 10 billion app downloads. And it was already three years into the App Store. So the App Store was there, the technology was there, but we had not adopted it. And if you weren't developing applications at this stage here, and you started developing them at this stage here, there is a very big chance that your app will never be downloaded, or that it won't have any significance on your business. So what I think is that we're in the early stages of, uh, of AI, and that unless you get it on board and uh, it becomes a strong part of your strategy as a company, you will, face, you will face the time where everybody and every business is using it, and you will be like uh, sort of wasted. And to prove it, it's for the last four years, the investments in artificial intelligence. They're only growing and they're only getting, uh, getting higher. So, we have prepared at NetInfo a to-do list. Uh, if you want to stay relevant in uh, the field of business, no matter what business you are in, no matter if you're a retail business, no matter if you're a uh, biohealth business, no matter if you're a digital business, if you're digital, then it's really disastrous. Uh, but you must do this as a top priority in your company. It cannot happen like between the lines or after I get this project done, this project done, this project done, then I invest into AI. No, it has to become your top, top, top priority in the company. You must hire the top people, the top data scientists, the top developers, the top engineers, the top logical thinkers, uh, and put them on the project. And uh, number three, you can look out for tools out there. There is already a lot of advancement and a lot of open source frameworks that actually you can use and you'll be amazed, but the biggest companies that have the most inv advancements in AI, they are the ones who are open sourcing the projects. Uh, you can use TensorFlow, Microsoft are investing there, so it's, there is pretty much a lot of assets to look for. Uh, so, very shortly, how we at NetInfo use AI. In the email service, we fight spam, otherwise it's impossible to detect. And we're also working on churn prediction modeling, uh, again, based on AI. 
on the content service, basically we recommend content. So we look to browser behavior, uh, user identity, location, what time of day uh, to sort of uh, push content to the user. Uh, in terms of tool sets, what we use, we use Analytics 360 and BigQuery to sort of crunch the data. And we have our own proprietary DMP, which is basically the data scientist teams uh, together with the developers are working on it to sort of find and put users in different segments. But this is just an example of, uh, of what we're doing. So I know this is not the first uh, time you hear that uh, AI should be your first strategy from this stage. Uh, and I'm sure that it will not be your last. So develop an AI first approach, put it as a top priority on your list. And if you have any questions, you can email me. Any questions? <laughs> and one more slide I have for you guys. Uh, I saw this, uh, this piece of uh, content uh, recently, and it seems that the Japanese, they had developed such a powerful tool for artificial intelligence that they have enrolled it in one of their literature contests and it reached the finals. So can you imagine? If you, think that, if you think that our jobs are safe because we do whatever creative involved in the world, if, we, if you think that your industry is not going to be impacted by AI, you're wrong. These guys are starting to write novels. So I say it's time to prepare for, uh, for this amazing, amazing technology. It's not so difficult, it's not so complicated if we have it as a top strategic priority. Thank you very much.